Hey Scorpio, how's it going? Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's high, highest good. Um, I was seeing one person come through to make an offer to another person, but I'm seeing like the person that's receiving seems a little bit defensive and it seems kind of like that may be your energy. Like you may be on the defense with something. This can even be a choice where it's like, are you going to let your guard down or are you going to be defensive and stand in that? Like, do you feel like you need to set boundaries or be like, don't cross this? Or are you going to like open yourself up to someone or something? Like something's being proposed to you, I'm seeing. Seeing a lot of gold here. I'm looking at the Wheel of Fortune, the Sun, the Three of the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. You may feel like you need to leave something to get involved with another thing. Like, it looks like somebody that you've been, like, working with or collaborating with. For some of you too, you could have been in a situation and recognized that like something is karmic. So it's like there's a very distinct purpose to this thing. And you may feel like that contract is over now and you're walking towards something else. Something that may um, potentially feel more stable. So yeah, it's like you're walking away even from something where there are multiple people to potentially do something like independently or in like a smaller a smaller amount of people like if this is business oriented um you could be like leaving a job where like you could be in a building working with a lot of people to go to like a smaller practice or something like that i'm even seeing or it's like you want to branch off and do something independently now that's not, that's not going to be for everybody, but I am seeing that be one of the messages here. Yeah, it's like, if you do it on your own, if you branch out on your own, like, is it going to be worth it to you? Are you going to, like, find what you're looking for? Is it going to be, like, enough money for you to be doing? So there's, like, even some solo mission that you're engaging on, but I'm almost seeing it be, like, you leaving a nest. Because you may even feel like, you know what, my time here has finished. Because I'm not seeing like any animosity or anything. It's more like you may feel like the time is up or it's been revealed to you that it's time for you to go explore something else. And it looks like that's what you're doing. So there's definitely like an exploration. And you may be involving someone in this thing that you're doing. Like you may be proposing something to someone. And like leaving something that had felt familiar to you before. Or for some of you, it can even be like going towards an offer that was given to you. We're going to find out who's who here. I'm seeing like a definitely a sense of determination. For some of you, like, if you're leaving a job, there's definitely, like, a sense of sadness. Like, I'm seeing people not want to necessarily see you go, but you may be like, you know what, I feel like this is destined for me to be going in this direction, and that's what I'm going to be pursuing now. I'm hearing you're on track. 4.44 when I looked up. Here you are, Scorpio. Yeah, look at you. It's like, it's time for a big change, I'm seeing. This is something you're meant to be doing. 
I think it's that voice in your head that's like, are you sure you're ready for a change? Or like, are you sure you want to leave this thing that's familiar? Like when we're preparing for something big. But you know, you know what's right for you. Like Scorpio is so very deeply intuitive and in touch and ready for big changes. It's like your innate archetype to be like ready for very, very big things happening. And the shedding of skin and all of that and the transitioning. And it looks like something big is happening now, especially with Jupiter too, like Jupiter next to the Scorpio energy. This is like, it looks like a very, very big change, but it's something where like you are able to express yourself further because I'm seeing like Jupiter and the sun are next to each other. And the sun is like um, your energetic frequency. It's like how you're shining. It's like your happiness, like who you are authentically, how you want to express yourself, all of this stuff. Um, and to see that next to Jupiter, Jupiter is going to like expand anything that it's next to. And to also see you like touching all of these here. It's like some big change that you're going through is helping you like transition more and more where like you're peeling back more layers of yourself and you feel like more authentic and creative in this energy within this transition that you're moving through right now so you may be like for some of you you could be learning something new you could be jupiter can speak of like higher education or some type of um training i'm also hearing or it can be like a certain path that you're following where you're like learning something new um like a specialty even or like something that you want to focus on something that feels right right to you like i'm seeing like i'm not seeing anybody else around you influence this like this is your choice that you're making here and this is something that feels good to you like this direction that you're moving in and what you're exploring Be patient with yourself. It's not going to happen overnight. Like for some of you, you may be like applying to something and like you may not get a green light right away. Like you may be turned down for something, but don't give up just because of that. Like for some of you too, I'm even seeing somebody like they want to get a job at like one place and you may be turned down for it or like you're applying somewhere and you get turned down for it, but it's because you're not meant to be doing that. You're meant to be doing something else or like going somewhere else even for some of you, like it may be a little bit further than you thought or it may just be a different environment than you thought you were going to be in. Like even though potentially you could collaborate with these people, there's a sense of like I'm seeing your independence be important and, like, your specific vision be important. And if you go with a group of people, like, not that you wouldn't maintain your individuality, but it may be something where you would, like, fall more into, like, some type of group mindset and you are being guided to, like, continue on your very specific individual path and, like, follow your vision and not compromise that. And it may have happened subconsciously if you were involved with a group of people and this is why you're being guided to do your own thing. Even though you may have thought that you wanted to do this, it's like if it didn't work out, that's also for a reason. So keep that in mind too. Like be patient and continue persevering. And it's about like finding the right thing for you too. So don't compromise until you've found the right thing. Yeah, you asking, you checking in with yourself and being like, does this resonate with me? Is this actually what I want? That is what's going to help you. I'm also seeing somebody come through and like potentially offer you some type of helping hand. I'm looking at Leo, I'm also looking at Aries, Sagittarius, the Sun, can be another Scorpio too, um, Jupiter. Yeah, there may be like someone or, or a group of people or certain people want to be working with you, but you're being guided, like if that's not resonating with you or like you don't want to, or you're like, you know what, I feel like a lacking here. You're being guided to keep keep it moving. 
because this is something that you may feel like obligated to stay stuck within and you're being guided to carry on. And there may be a new opportunity that's coming for you and you're being guided to make a brave decision here. For some of you, it's about like maybe even making an offer, like some type of proposal, creating a proposal. I'm interested at the strength card coming out. This can be something like business, related to business or related to like your own empire even. Something that's taking hard work and determination and independence and like you really being in charge of the decisions that you're making. Like there's nobody else to guide you. You are your own guide here with whatever this thing is that you've been working on. I'm here and collaborate with love. It's like when you're working with people, this is about like being so in touch with yourself and your heart chakra that that is like shining through the work that you're doing. I'm seeing even something that like you're very good at because of like how connected you are emotionally and how that also like increases your ability, your performance, I'm hearing your performance ability. It's like because of how involved your heart is with what you're doing. How genuine you are about that. Ooh, I'm seeing too something. I'm looking at the lovers and the ace of cups and the four of wands. Maybe something special happening within a relationship. Four of Wands can speak of a wedding. Yeah, and the Two of Cups. Soulmate vibes. Who is this person? Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely seeing, like, for some of you, you could be going to a wedding or, like, something more serious is happening within your relationship. Within the current relationship that you have, it's like you met somebody and you got very close with them and you recognize like that you have really amazing chemistry with this person and then there's like this love that you feel with them and then you guys could have moved in together or you like finalize your relationship in some type of way. I'm seeing things be very serious and then I'm seeing like some type of I don't know, there's like even more love than there was before when this began, but it's almost like there's a transition. It's like before you guys could have met when you were younger, like I'm seeing a very raw type of energy here with someone. And it's like you notice like an initial like chemical interaction, attraction, something like that, where it's like very much about the attraction with the lovers. So it's very much like, I'm hearing alchemical, it's very much about the chemistry you have with this person. And then it's like love emerges from that. And then I'm seeing, I keep hearing finalized with the four of wands. So it's like you could have gotten into an official relationship or like you could have moved in with them. Um, there could be a marriage on the table, something like that. And then it's like, I'm seeing some type of celebration even. And with the hierophant here, like this can speak about like a contract, like a marriage, I'm even hearing license. Or like a wedding. Because this has like a spirit, like I'm even seeing somebody um, like officiate a wedding, something like that. But the Hierophant. Okay, let's read this another way now. Okay, so in order to meet this person, you would have had to go through like a really, a really intense change a really intense transition within your life and it could have been something that you felt broke you down completely to see Jupiter and and the Scorpio energy next to one another 
also with Gemini like this is something that could have really like you could have really been in a whirlwind but it's like this really insane transition that you went through actually led you to connecting with this person and it's like when you met this person it's like things just really fell into place and it took time but you recognize like the love that you have within the connection with this person and it was something that like developed over time but I'm seeing it was something you were like very careful with like getting like I'm seeing a lot of work be put into the relationship to really like nurture this sense of love together that you share with this person It looks like you could have had a choice to either like keep working with someone or choose a relationship. Like I'm seeing you turn something down to get more official with something else. Because I'm seeing something even transition to like a group of people or like three people or like multiple people and then there's a transition to it just being like the two of you. This is what I'm seeing. It's interesting as well because like for some of you it can be the opposite like you could have actually decided that you didn't want to work with a particular person and you turned down um like the proposal to get into a more serious relationship with someone because you didn't feel satisfied within it because you were looking for like a soulmate type of thing and you could have felt like it was more like working and things like were not meshing with someone before and like what you were looking for was something more serious than that For some of you too, like you could have even been like married before in a very serious relationship with someone that you ended up um, like having to move on from because like something was going on there emotionally that was not it for you. But it actually like you walking away from this thing that was not working for you. I'm seeing a relationship, like something very serious, something very like official even with someone you walking away from that actually helped you find your two of cups so it's like you could have had really intense chemistry with someone before but there was like a lack of maybe something that you've actually been able to find now and I'm seeing something about like a proposal or some type of offer to like get serious with another person here so this can be like you left a relationship in the past because like emotionally it was not what you needed it to be and you could have like really spent time building with this person like had a history with them but you had to move on from it because it was not like what you wanted not what you needed and there was a lack of fulfillment emotionally spiritually and then I'm seeing that it helped bring you actually closer with somebody else and it's somebody that there's a sense of like steady building with this person and having the strength to even commit to this further with this person like you may be taking a next step with someone but it like it had to be like some type of bravery or courage on your end um to like initiate this with this person so it's like maybe because of the experience that you had in the past um like in a past relationship like that could have even had you feeling a bit weary about doing that but I'm seeing you like making some type of commitment again here and it's something that like it did take courage for you to do for sure so I'm looking at Jupiter, the Sun, Scorpio, Sagittarius. I'm hearing Aries. I'm looking at Leo, Gemini, Taurus. When I was looking at Leo, that's when I was hearing Aries, the strength card. Yeah, it looks like you're making progress, maybe even with trust issues. Did I say Gemini? Gemini was also in there.
Yeah, it's like, I'm seeing you could have been dealing with, like, some, some energy that had you feeling quite guarded, even. Almost in a position where it's like you don't want to get vulnerable. But this can also be the person that you were dealing with, too. Yeah, I'm seeing you move from a state... Like, we're counting counting down. I'm looking at a 9, an 8. It's like you were dealing with something and, and maybe you just felt like for a long time you were dealing with it. And then all of a sudden, like, it starts, there starts, like, some type of even release that you're having. It's like the tension eases up. Like, you may have just felt like you were kind of, like, plateaued for a while. And now I'm seeing, like, something, something is shifting for you. And, like, I'm seeing you start off in a place where it's, like, things do not feel very pleasant. But I'm seeing you very quickly transition out of this. Maybe, too, because of working on emotion regulation. Maybe more reflection. Like, there could be something that you're doing with, like, meditation or therapy. Anything that helps you process your emotions and ground and center. Find the equanimity. Because before, like, you may have had a... Yeah. It's like, this is where your stability is for you. Also not... Why the Two of Pentacles? Hold on, I want to get further. I don't want to jump ahead. You know how I said I heard Aries in the last one? I am looking at Aries here. It's the first major arcana in this spread. I'm looking at Aquarius. Yeah, it's like I'm seeing you heal from something. This can mean, too, like, before you could have potentially even, like, sabotaged your sense of stability or you felt like somebody else maybe did. But I'm seeing the lesson be to end something if it has you, like, compromising or negotiating your stability and needing to do that. Because there could have been, like, someone that you were involved with that you felt you couldn't trust. Oh, wow. So now I'm seeing... The Empress just slid right up under the Emperor, so I'm hearing we have a pair. Maybe you feel very matched with someone. Yeah, it was like, in order for you to like stand fully in your energy, I'm seeing something difficult that you had to work through that really taught you how to manage your emotions and how to create stability for yourself and like prioritize your stability both within your physical material reality and also emotionally for you, which then helped you pursue the things that you wanted to pursue and follow your vision and actually heal from a situation where you felt like such a deep mistrust because of something that had happened emotionally. And I'm seeing that like by you completing this lesson, there's like a graduation even into like before there was a sense of after focusing on your emotional and material stability, I'm seeing you like graduate into like your divine masculine energy and then through the healing of like whatever mistrust that was that you had in like completing a cycle, I'm seeing you also reach your divine feminine energy. So I'm seeing like a very realized energy here and this could have also connected you with somebody that you feel like is very compatible with you on like a high grade level.
for some of you too, you could have also felt like before you were kind of in your, in your shadow or in a shadow. And then there was a sense of like stepping up and, and finding your calling, I'm even hearing, and your vision and the things that you want to pursue and not holding yourself back because you could have felt like I'm not good enough or like I'm not stable enough emotionally to be able to do this or you could have like not been cheering yourself on or not supporting yourself in some type of way because this also looks like self-sabotage but it may have been something that was instilled in you like a vibe of like I'm not good enough or like my parents didn't validate me or like because of this that happened in a relationship it's like something that some self-belief that you could have taken on based off of your perception of an experience an unpleasant experience that you went through is what I'm getting um but once this is healed there's a sense of you like I'm almost seeing it be like you could have been in an energy where like once you started building good things for yourself like maybe the pressure got to you and you could have just destroyed those things but once you like learned how to actually properly um like manage something and prioritize this and this can be like stress money like goals that you want to build towards all of that stuff once you learned how to do that there was a sense of like realizing yourself further and clearing out that energy that needed to be cleared out. And it was one that made it harder for you to build what you wanted to build and maintain that. I'm getting maintained specifically. So I'm looking at Aries, Aquarius, um, Saturn, and Venus here. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.